Hello, everybody! Happy Mixtober! Happy Whoa. Halloween! Hey, it's me! <laughs> it's another Mixtaper... It's another Mixtaper Takeover Week! Happy Mixtober! Hi! How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, how are you? What I'm are doing you great! I, I noticed that we both are wearing similar costumes to last year. I've, uh, I've donned... Yeah. Your gift well, to I'm me last you wore year. My gift. Yeah, I wore your gift. I'm wearing a squirrel mask, and I'm wearing a lab coat and an "I am a squirrel" T-shirt. I'm the math squirrel from our math department. The abacus is in the background, but it's but it's here. And you're just repeating yourself. You're just wearing the same thing you did last year. Well, you're wearing the same. Well, you're. Well, I'm, it's still the scariest thing. <laughs> Until something replaces it, that's the costume you go with. Yeah, yeah I see. I mean, you gotta be the scariest thing. That's kind of kind of the whole works. point. Well, it's been a long time since last Mixtober. How's your year been? I know we hear from you every week, but still, you know, um. It's been a pretty good Mixtober. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Other than all my tabs keep randomly jumping around on me where I don't want them. There nah. we go. <laughs> that. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, anyway. Uh, you know, I've been listening to a lot of Halloween songs in preparation for today. Yeah, I've had uh, last Mixtober's playlist on repeat, and I'm not totally convinced yes. that they're all very Halloween-y, but a lot of them are. Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, there are the idea is that, uh, you know, gets you in the Halloween spirit. Be, they'd be good at parties, you know, like a Halloween-themed party. Yeah. Got music playing. You know, raising the roof, all that jazz. Yeah, that does make sense. And you can know I am uh, back we're here. Back. We are back. And just as apparently it's become a tradition, I do have a little pumpkin spice latte to drink. It is my first of the season. So there you go. And I have, as is not a tradition, a Mountain Dew. You have a Mountain Dew on pumpkin spice latte it's day? Nice. Well, I didn't realize we were doing pumpkin spice lattes, or I would have picked one up on my way home from work. I do it. Well, I did it last uh, you know, year. I was going to say I, I do it every year. I make pumpkin spice but... lattes all day long, and uh, if you had if you had warned me, I would have grabbed one on my way out. Whoops. Well, we don't have to do it. I'm just doing it. So. All right. Uh, I did. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, last year I got you a bunch of gifts to celebrate Mixtober. Yeah, and they were really uh, nice. I still use the mood lamp constantly, and. Barry Duckalo is still sitting on my shelf next yeah. to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, Connor, who's at Con Con uh, this week, so Connor Convention. Um, yeah, Connor. Yeah, convention he left early this year. You are not aware. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the the flights were pretty bad with all the bad weather we've been having, so we mm. had to get an earlier flight in, in order to make it. That makes sense. Well, uh, it's in it's in Peru this year, I think. Peru. <laughs> I, think so. I just I think assumed it was said. in different places in the United States. My guess, Connor well, Convention's is the international. national. This is the international, like, con con. Oh, well, like, I mean. once every four years they meet up internationally? Well, they, uh, well, every, it travels around. It's a lot, most of the Connors are in the U.S., so a lot of times the kid's up in one of the U.S. states, but sometimes they branch out. I see. Uh, but you know, Connor, he wants to buy a house soon. So he's put himself on a budget. And since I get all my money from him, that means I've been put on a budget. So no gifts this year. A budget's been imposed <laughs> on you. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Last yeah. year you spent like $50 just in shipping costs. So I, did I don't $50 blame you. Just in shipping costs. I don't blame you for not doing that again. That's wild. Although I do like your little spinny <laughs> plushie back there. Yeah, so, well, I did buy a gift, just not for you. Uh, a amazing fan of the podcast made me this uh, Spin It, uh, Spin It Pete, Spinny Plushy. Uh, sorry, I used his government name. I haven't there. called him Spin It Peter um, in a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, and I gave him one of my spare uh, mix taper hats since he's uh, uh, spinny taper tonight. Uh huh. Uh, my 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 lovely assistant. Yes. For tonight's game. That's right. You made the whole thing into a 60-second timed trivia guessing game full of lies. And it was really stressful sure, last well, year. But at least I know well, what kind of what to expect. It's stressful this year. Yeah, but at least I kind of know what to expect this year. Expect the unexpected. No, it is very similar. We'll get into all that whenever we're ready to get into the game. I didn't know if there was any other uh, pre-game activities we wanted to get into. I don't know. Do you have any pregame activities? This is again. This is your um, your episode. I'm the host. Yeah, I mean, did exactly. I do an intro. I didn't really do an intro for the episode. I feel like I should do one so that you have an intro for the episode. That's a good idea. They get over. <laughs> they get it over. <laughs> I came up with the idea and then didn't have one ready. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> Hey, it's me, the Mixtaper, back with another 13 surefire songs guaranteed to get you into the Halloween season. And I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to Spin It, another Mixtaper takeover. Wonderful. That's pretty good. I uh, work for an intro. Sorry, stream people, you had to deal with that. <laughs> uh, I cannot hear, but I'm here in judging. I hope Sorry, that means what? you I'll just can't hear because of the audio on your device and not because there's no audio in stream. Uh, no, yeah, they're in public. Mm. Last I checked. I see. What a thing to say. Um, well, you know me. Yes, that is right. There we are everywhere. recording live. So you can listen to this episode We're wherever you're live. listening to it now. But we streamed it live on our Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash SpinItPod. So drop a follow. Go Come follow it. Say We're hi. almost to the point where we can become affiliate or whatever and get fun new toys. That's true. But yeah, this is uh, a stream that you take over, and I do less preparation for the Halloween episode than any other, just because I don't know what you are going to do. I don't know how to even prepare anything for the Halloween yeah. episode. Unfortunately, it was a busy mixtober. Um, so I had some wild ambitions that just didn't pan out. Mm. time constraints but uh well so it's gonna be all very similar to last year that's okay um, the way i see it i get to save those ideas for future mixtape or takeovers i'm thinking you know this would be a fun format for some we need to show some other holidays some love you know I, i'm more mm. than just mixed over but, um, you know maybe we do like the top 13 labor day songs or La something, you know <laughs> you want to do <laughs> sure yeah we can do that <clears throat> and then i can spring those other fun uh one of my so one thing i didn't do that i really thought about doing to you just to really I, I i told you that i had an idea that was gonna make you absolutely hate me and everything about this episode really and then i didn't do it uh i was going to pick 13 halloween you know songs yeah uh, but they were just gonna be a song for each for like 13 different holidays <laughs> and you were not only have to, gonna have to guess the song but then also figure out which holiday what i thought holiday that <laughs> why why would you do that uh, i don't know it was a fun idea i had <laughs> well i'm glad you I unhad some really it funny songs i was like this could be for like a really obscure holiday that you would never guess and i, I was getting enjoyment in my head out of it but you're stuck with halloween for mixtober you're welcome thank you i'm glad uh, so, um, yeah, uh, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple Music or something like that after the fact, definitely go follow the Twitch. Get notifications for when we go live so you can hang out with the chat who's going to be uh, playing along with the game uh, with the game alongside James. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, uh, also definitely recommend going and checking out the video of the stream rather than listening to just the cut down episode version because you'll get to see all the fun artwork that i put the art department up to the art department uh went wild again this year with some great uh art for each one of these songs that was a standout feature so... of last year just the ridiculous art and uh that'll be up on mm -hmm. our socials too at spin it pod official on instagram and at spin it pod on x <laughs> And one thing I was thinking, feel free to tell me you don't like this idea, but I was thinking those who are here 
watching uh, at the end can maybe vote for which artwork there is their favorite, and we'll make that like the thumb part of the thumbnail or something Ooh. for the episode. Last time we just put all thirteen so, in the thumbnail, but that's an idea. Well, I feel like that's a little. I feel like that's a little spoilery. I felt like that too, but it looks cool. It did look cool, so we can do that again, or you know, we, we, we can find some way to do something special with whatever artwork is the uh, live audience's favorite. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we'll take the favorite and like put it on a shirt or something and put it in the store. <laughs> I like that too. All good ideas. Anyway, should we get into uh, the game? Are we ready? Yeah, I guess I'm ready for your. You got 13 more songs this year for another, and it's not to clarify. It was never the 13 hey, yeah, best hey, well, hang on. Halloween songs. Let me go ahead. And, you, uh, the audience has been staring at this right curtain. Let me just open the curtains. Of course. What's behind the here. curtain? Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully that audio is coming through. It is. Wonderful. Well, we're back with mixtapers ho- with another mixtaper halloween song playlist another 13 surefire songs guaranteed to get you into the halloween season oh boy not the top 13 it's not like the best 13 right it's just another 13 13 so, you know extras it's, it, it's th- 13 additional songs that uh you could put on a halloween playlist this mixtober yes um and for those who weren't watching uh last year or completely blocked it out of their memory, like I'm sure I did for a little bit. Uh, let's you know go over the rules. Please, yeah, we need a good refresher for the rules again. It's been 52 weeks. Ooh, 52 it's episodes. <laughs> That's wild. Think about how many times we've doubled since last. In a over. year, I know it's been a lot. All right, so um, let's go ahead and go through the rules, shall we? Please. So, you know, each round will start when the music and this pumpkin countdown timer begins. A lot of work went into this pumpkin timer. Yeah. Uh, James and the audience, you all have 60 seconds to guess the song and earn a point. Audience, you get one collective point if anyone watching live guesses the song correctly. For each team that the mixtaper stumps, I get one point. Uh, and, uh, you know, if nobody in the audience guesses at all, then I may not double my points. That'd be mean. As the time counts down, facts about the song will appear on these mixed taper factoid cards, just like these rules are. And my assistant for the evening, the lovely Spinny Taper, will ensure all these rules are followed. Yep, there uh, he is. And call me out if I accidentally throw in any spins on these factoid cards. I know that happened last year. Fantastic. What I am going to say, though. The round is over when you hear this sound. Great. That means time is up, and I will reveal the answer, and you'll find out who will we'll divvy up points from there. Are Any you... Questions on the rules? Great. Are you playing audio through speakers? I think maybe you're getting some bleed through. <laughs> I'm playing audio in my headset, so no, I should not be getting any bleed oh, through. Oh, well, that sounded... Interesting. (laughs) Did it really? Yeah. Yeah, all the music. (laughs) What sound did it? Did it play twice? It was kind of like doubled, but it also sounded far away. Yeah, I think your audio might be doubled. Quiet. Let me check my audio settings. Maybe it's the only thing you should be hearing. Let's say maybe it's on your. Well, I just muted it in the thing so we'll see how it goes this is troubleshooting a podcast in real time uh here i can just hit the back button and it'll play the music part again and uh right give it a try let's see if we made it sound better in troubleshoot ready yep oh well that muting stopped the music altogether for me okay okay it is definitely doubled. Let me check what Discord is sending you. It might be that. Oh, yeah, I bet that's it. <laughs> my input device is just... No, my input device is just... Uh, my microphone. Weird. It's definitely yeah, coming through, me, like... I'll mute myself in Discord and Speakers see if it's and slightly out of phase.
I still definitely hear it from somewhere. It sounds mm. it sounds not direct. It sounds like it's coming through a microphone you've got somewhere. Oh. What? It's weird, but the <laughs> other one didn't sound all messed up. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Well, it kind of did, but it wasn't as bad. Uh, I think I see what it is. Hang on. Okay. It might be. There. Yeah. See, it is. It's all doubly. Because I should hear exactly what you hear, chat. Um, That's how we got it set up. Let me start it over again. Mm. Okay, no, it's doubly. Wild. Oh, there I just lost the ability to hear you. Oh, no. Something weird happened with... Hello? Hi. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, can he not hear me? What's going on oh, what are we gonna do? Uh, uh. Wow, this is always fun. Load it. I've lost the ability to hear you myself now, all of a sudden. Yeah, I can tell. There we go. Gotta okay, love the scuff. I yeah, I know. Here's Gotta a fun scuff, scuff scuff relevant story. Um, also, I think the back of my chair just ripped. Oh, it did. That's sad. Um, anyway, scuff story. Sad. I updated the bot today, Mix It Up bot, and then I had to go through and manually update all the endpoints for stream, like all of our overlays. I had to update them and change them. And Ugh, what a time. Uh, can you hear me yet? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I'm not sure. Are you talking again? I'm talking. Okay. Um, let me. That double. Yes. Oh, I know what the problem is. Maybe. It's it's almost certainly coming through a microphone you've got. It's there's no microphone for it to be coming through. Like a webcam microphone? I don't know. I mean, what? Why would it be coming? Through, how? What do you mean it would be coming? Uh, like, like playing out of no, a speaker? It's it sounds like playing in my room. It's not playing in your room. <laughs> well, that's what it sounds like. It's not play. It's in it my sounds headset. Thin, nothing it, for it to be. It sounds thin and tinny. Okay, hang on. I might be able to fix this. Uh, I do only hear it anyway. once, but it sounds like it's going through a phase. Okay, like it should be gone now. It is gone. It be yes. Gone now. Um, and then if I do, if I do. That Do you hear that? No. But that might be the better option. <laughs> no. You gotta be able to hear it. Hang on one second. <laughs> What's everyone going as for Halloween? <laughs> oh, I know what I gotta do to fix this. Okay. This might not. This might make it worse, but it'll do something. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It's all about experimenting. Hmm. Oh, that was weird. Oh, that was weird. Now I can hear myself. Now I can hear myself. Is 
And that makes me not want to talk. That makes me not want to talk. <laughs> Just go back to what it was. Just go back to what it was. It was better it just was double. Better. Just double. There, I muted. So now uh you won't hear me <laughs> double. I could just talk directly to you, chat. Ay, jeez. What a time. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I don't know if I can hear yeah, him either. You can't hear me. Oh, now I can hear you. I said just go back to what it was before. It was better doubled than all of this. I, I know, but it's not going to be better. I want it to be good. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if there's an option. Figure out. There is an option. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck it is. Oh, hold on. I'm turning off some things. I'm turning off noise suppression. An echo cancellation and auto gain control in your ninja audio settings. Try it again now. Know. Maybe that was the That could have been why it was thin and tinny. Well now I gotta fix it so you can hear it there. I gotta unmute myself. Hang on. Okay, ready? Yes. It's it's fine. It's doubled, but it's fine. Oh, that's gonna make it sound awful. I don't understand why it's doubled. Oh wait, hang on. Now it's a double. Yeah. Still doubled. Yep. Wait, I thought that, I thought that was gonna fix it. Oh, goodness. Hang on, I think I see part of the problem. Okay. I think I see... Technology, uh, can't live with it, can't live without it. Here, this is about to get really interesting. Oh gosh, what are you doing? We need like a technical difficulty screen. Okay, question. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I hear you. I guess the next question. Hello? Yeah. Oh, boy. I've lost you again. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, I know why. Because I clicked too many buttons in voice meter. That's why. That one's on me. Hello? Hello. There we go. I hit too many buttons in voice media. That one was my fault. Okay. okay. So, this is the final try. Uh, All right. What are everybody seeing right now? Everybody's seeing things. Everybody is seeing... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. All right. Uh, tell me, does this work? Well, drum roll. I'm going to slide 
decides it wants to play. Can you hear that? No. Can't hear that? What about now? I hear a double. Well, I have no solutions. And I still can't hear you. I don't like all messed up. You can't hear me? Well, I can hear you now. You just weren't talking. Oh, I just wasn't talking, yeah. This is annoying. Yeah, audio. What are you going to do? I just, I love that it worked so well every other time that we've ever tried to do this and now it's not wanting to work yeah we've never really had any problems with it one second we should really bust a move though we should just get it to a good enough yeah. point <laughs> That's not bad. Does that sound better? It's a little better. Yeah, it's not bad. And again, this is just for stream. We can fix it all in post. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure the stream people are kind of okay. Yeah. Here, hang on. I think, I see. No, where did it just, okay, that's annoying. Why did it just do that? Hang on. <laughs> Thought I, I saw something and then it went away on me. Wild. I think I see why it's doubling. Does he though? How's that? The same. But does it still sound double? Yes. What? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to roll it. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. that's watching live. Ugh, it's annoying. <laughs> it's it's what it is. So those are the rules. I'm ready for another 13 rounds of this. Let me make sure I'm good to go here. Get everything. I got everything all in the wrong spot again now because of that. <laughs> and just shuffle everything around. All right. That's the rules. Let's get into round one. I'm sorry for how the music's going to sound every round. It's fine. They know we tried. Are you ready for round one? Yeah. I'm ready for round one. Bring it on. Right. I think it's going to be 13. way harder these this time. Any, these are not in any particular order. They're right. really just in an order that I thought made them spread out like the styles and genres and stuff. We're not counting up or down like I thought we were last year. Yeah, we're just counting. Yeah. And... We picked 13 good songs last year, so those are eliminated from my pool of guesses. You don't know that. Maybe I've put snuck one back in on you. I really wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> well, we'll find out as we get into round number one. Here we go. Okay. I hope I don't... Scary you too quickly with this first song. Scary Boy, typo you? In the first line. We're off to a great start. Oh, okay. I thought that was a clue, and it was just a typo. <laughs> uh, uh, you may want to thank him for how quickly you check out at the store. Okay. Like a clerk, like a grocery bagger. The lyrics on this song are haunting. Casper the and Friendly Ghost. You put your thoughts in the chat. Haunting. It definitely seems you ghosty. You may die of laughter rather than fright from these ghosts. Friendly ghosts, right? Casper's a friendly ghost. I don't know any Casper friendly ghost related songs. 
If they don't get you, the mortgage payment might. Something about a house. Ghosts in a house, checking out of a store. I'm, I'm not doing well. If it doesn't get canceled again, we will be seeing this start as live soon. Well, then it's about Ray Stevens. It's a song by Ray Stevens, but I don't know what it is. He's got too many songs. Oh, he doesn't know what it is. He's got too That's many songs. The answer... The Haunted House <laughs> by Ray Stevens. The Haunted House. That's that's very like him. Look at that <laughs> haunted house. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, the haunted, it's a silly song about a guy who moves into a house and then discovers it's haunted, but doesn't want to leave because he just moved in. And yeah, the house. So, so he's just he's gonna be friends with all the ghosts. He's got to stick it out till the end of his lease or mortgage, whatever it is. Yeah. That's fun. And here we got our first bit of art department art for the stream. Yeah, is that uh, you in the, the little window house. down that's, there? Uh, that's that's me in the little window. <laughs> Moved into the haunted house. Fantastic. A little mixtape or colored house. It's very haunted looking, yeah. Yeah. The jack o' lantern out front is a nice touch. I don't know anything about this song. I've actually never heard it. Never heard it. Here's the thing. I gotta fix something again. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. But in trying to fix all that, I've made it so that I'm now sharing the whole screen, and so I can't pull up my notes about the songs. <laughs> <laughs> One second. <laughs> uh, share just the window. Come back. There we go. Okay. We're just gonna just make make sure we still got audio. We're yep. Gonna... You hear that? I there's nothing to hear yet, right? Uh, there should have been. No. Okay, yeah, it's just no audio. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Good grief. Two. Okay. And you would move into a yep. <clears throat> sound like it did last time? Yep. Sound... I don't know. I don't okay. even. It was about the same. <clears throat> It'll, it, we'll deal with it. I want to get my darn notes up about the song. Okay. <laughs> Teach me about the haunted house. Maybe we'll see Ray Stevens sing it in late November. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, in late November. <laughs> Anything's uh... possible. The Haunted House, Ray Stevens. Uh... Hi, Impulse. Thank you. Thank you for the lurks, and we oh, will hi. indeed hydrate. I'll hydrate with some uh, Mountain Dew here. I don't know if that really counts. Sure it does. Uh, well, there's not... I, okay, so this one I don't have a lot about the actual song. Uh -huh. um, it, most of these songs have like their own Wikipedia page because they're popular enough. This one, not so much. But, uh... uh good song. Apparently, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I like the concept of it, and I'm not surprised the Ray Stevens song finally made it into this Halloween 13. Uh, frankly, yeah, I'm surprised yeah, he didn't Connor's make it Connor into the last 13. Yeah, yeah. He's, he just was a little more obscure for the first 13. That's f sure, fair. Uh, but this next one, uh, this next one you might get. I'm, I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see how quickly you get some of these. I could, you know. Last year, I made some of them really, really hard because they were easy songs to guess, and then other ones I made super easy because they were harder songs to guess. This yeah. one was hard because I didn't know how many of these you'd actually know. I don't know. I don't know about uh, a ton of like so, novelty, seasonal, or specialty music, necessarily. Yeah. Well, luckily not all of them are that way, but we'll see with this next one. Moving on. To Apparently, well. we're lucky that all of them are remotely Halloween-related. <laughs> Ready for uh, our next round? Next round, song coming 12. up. Well, this song is great for a good journey. 
It sounds like it's by Journey. Like, <laughs> Wheel in the Sky. What's a Halloween Journey song? It just came out this month, This actually. month? I don't know any songs from this yeah, month yet. Yeah, off the presses. Oh, my gosh. The writers of this song also wrote the music for Frozen 1 and 2. Who did that? Like, Hans Zimmer? Who did... Hmm. It's a super ballad. Super ballad. A super ballad that came out this month. That's good for a journey. Follow me, my friend, to glory at the end. That feels like a very direct hint. That feels like a lyric straight out of the song. <laughs> I don't have any idea what it sure is. Sure is. Is it from like Catherine the... Catherine Hahn gets witchy in this TV show. Okay. Is it from like the Wizards of Waverly Place reboot? I don't... <laughs> Oh, wait, the Agatha <laughs> show, right? The Marvel one. That's the new. The Agatha show, the Marvel one. It's a super ballad. That makes Unfortunately, sense. Unfortunately, you're out of time, and you haven't named the song. I could barely remember the show exists. <laughs> I'm not going to get a song <laughs> well, title. I wasn't sure, because I, I, I know you have people who are super into Marvel, so I wasn't sure if uh, fair how aware you were. I don't do well with the Disney like series. And I don't think I've really gotten into any of the Disney popped Plus up a series. Lot on uh, people covering it on TikTok, so I thought maybe you'd seen it there. Mm, not that I can recall. What what's the song? Oh yeah, the song is down, 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 the Ballad of the Witch's Road. The you know, I actually think I have heard this a little bit. Oh, the art <laughs> is so good. <laughs> just it's just. <laughs> Every this is what's my favorite part about the Halloween streams is just how ridiculous and I never know what the art's gonna be. <laughs> and <laughs> it's just you and the gopher singing a ballad to the full moon. As we walk down the road. Ah, yeah, the witch's road. It's it's a good journey because they're taking a journey down the witch's road, and the ballad is the song used to summon the road. Oh. So, I have no idea. Don't talk too much about the show. Uh yeah, no spoilers. Um, so we don't get too many spoilers, but that's like the premise laid out at the very beginning. Sure. I actually, I have heard a clip or two of that song on Twitter or something. Uh huh. That's what I said. It, uh, but it was written by Oscar winning songwriters, uh, Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez mm. who did as the factoid said, the songs for frozen one and frozen two. I see. Um, a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, and there's some interviews I watched of them talking about um, how they were kind of given from the show writers certain things that they had to incorporate in the song. So, like, this song incorporates uh, the elements, earth, wind, fire, and water. Mm -hmm. It also, uh, they wanted it to incorporate certain, like, witchy elements and stuff. And then, uh, uh, so, like, the mother, maiden, and crone are in there. And, and it also had to kind of lay out the whole arc of the of the thing, right? Because the whole point of the show is them traveling down this road, right? So the song's oh. supposed to, and it's they wanted it to sound like it was passed down general generationally through like the covens, right? As, as like they would teach each other the song, right? They wanted it to sound that way. Yeah, like Hi, an Jenny. ancient. How's it going? Like an ancient. I didn't get it. The mixtaper didn't get any song. highs from you, but I say it anyways. That's uh, true. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cool. Uh, I'll, I'll have to send you a link to the interview uh, that they did talking about how they wrote the song, and then all the actor, uh, all the actresses that play the witches in the show are the ones singing in what that little soundbite you just heard were. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I I should have done a little better on that, but not much. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Thank you, Jenny, for the hello. Uh, but that's number 12, The Ballad of the Witch's Road. And again, for anybody tuning in live, coming in late, feel free to put your guesses as we go along in this game in the chat. Uh, so far, I've got two points. See, James, you haven't gotten any right. I know. I know. What am I going to do? Oh, yeah, we should keep score, actually. You, you've you got more than two points because you well, get points. Uh, nobody from the okay. audience just has when... guessed yet. I sure. feel bad taking those points. I feel like the audience should just get to be trying to beat you or I. By That's fair. More points. Yeah, so you don't get anything. From, and then yeah. the competitions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're so. winning two to nothing right now. Yeah. Uh, I so suspect you may win closer to ten to three or something. 
I think that's how last year went. So yeah, maybe. Well, we're we're ready for number eleven. Oh my goodness. Already going on to round number three here. Mm-hmm. Round number eleven. I gotta bring we're my A game down to one. My Mixtober one. game. We're, we're counting the rounds up to thirteen, so it's kind of it's hard to keep track of. Yeah, we did start with round one and round two, which were songs number thirteen and twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it's a confusing anyway, here we go with round number three right but you just said but it was number 11 okay it's it's song number 11 right round Again, number three the, the order the order is not indicative of my feelings of the songs of course they could be maybe a little indicative of like how mixtobery or halloweeny they are for the vibe uh, they are kind of increasing in vibe yeah. But I wouldn't hold myself to that necessarily. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. So here we go. This heavy metal song came out in 1982. Oh, okay. Heavy metal. Yes. Going back a little bit from a song that just came out last month. I don't trust anything that this uh, sheet says the anymore. The video was filmed in Sri Lanka. You could just lie about any of this. It doesn't even have to be heavy metal. It doesn't have to be 1982. Uh, in 2015, Five Seconds to Summer sampled this song in one of their hits. 2015. Well, what'd they do? Young Blood and others? I don't remember many big Five Seconds to Summer uh, hits. Pitchfork Media said singles don't come much stronger than this song. I don't know Pitchfork if that's Pitchfork a... Media is also a great... Oh, ah, hell, here he is! Spinny Taper? Oh, yes! I'm sorry. See? I'm sorry. This isn't a heavy metal song. You're right. Thank you, Spinny Taper. This is actually an English New Wave song. English New Wave from 1982. 1982. Yeah. Oh. Uh, in the music video, the lead singer and a tiger-like woman scream at each other. Oh, and hungry like Durand the wolf. Durand got a platinum certification from this howling good song. I heard you say hungry like a wolf before the timer went off, so that is a point for you. Yeah. This is hungry like a wolf. Yes. That's great. Uh, so there's a uh, wolf mixtaper. Hungry for some pumpernickel and mayo sandwiches. Fantastic. I actually just listened to Rio all the way through for the first time a few months ago on my Albums of the Month list. So Duran Duran's pretty fresh on the brain. This is a great record. <laughs> I've missed yeah, my bad jokes too, song. Jenny. <laughs> I hope you're doing great. <laughs> so that, look at that. You're already brought it back. I mean, I'm still double your points. But so I cut the lead in half. <laughs> It's, it's all about perspective. Glass uh, half full. For those just tuning in uh, as well. Um, friend my screen. You so also have called the song Hungry like on? a wolf. And it's yeah, not just so a wolf. wolf. I'm sorry. That's the well, wolf. <laughs> well, I'm a wolf, and this is me in the picture. So, <laughs> uh, Right. Are our cameras on stream? Right yeah. Now? Yes. I thought so. Uh, that's Spinny Taper in the back uh, behind me here. I make sure to give him love. Uh, he's doing a good job keeping me honest in on these factoid cards. Yeah, yeah. I was um, heavy metal was a little bit throwing me. So yeah, five seconds of summer sampled this. They sure did. I didn't know that either. And I'll tell you more about it. yeah so again this was uh hungry like the wolf it's a song by duran duran um song was produced by colin thurston for the group's second studio album rio as you just said uh, uh maybe we'll be doing it you, you and connor will be covering that album at some point it's so certainly on the list it? who knows yeah. Yeah, who but knows? in 2015 uh five seconds to summer um, sampled this song on their song Hey Everybody. It contains certain elements from Hungry Like the Wolf. Huh. Um, and Duran Duran were actually giving a, given a writing credit on that song because of it. That makes sense. Cool. Um, That's a good song. And I wouldn't necessarily think of it as Halloween-y, but definitely in a werewolf kind of like context. If you're at a Halloween party and this song comes this song on, comes on like, yeah, it fits right line. in. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Why are you old, Jenny? <clears throat> what makes you feel uh, old, I rather? Not great... why are you old. Time marches on, but... Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but I thought this was a great pick for another 
Halloween 13. This is a really good one. This is my favorite one on the list so far because it's the only one I know (laughs) out of the first three. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. Fair enough. But it's good. It's good. This next one, as we get into song number 10, is going to be another interesting one. Okay, round four. (laughs) Yeah, round four. Song 10. We're we're getting, we're we're almost out of the double digits. Wow. Here we go. This is a famous song. You've included the word fame in all capital letters. So, I mean, like David Bowie doing fame, you just put the title right in there. That'd be crazy. That'd be wild. Uh, She wrote this song because of her fear of attachment. Oh, okay. Someone else. Fear of attachment. This pop song will turn the walking dead into the dancing dead. Dancing. Wow, who's a dancing sounds zombie related? The lyrics he ate my heart makes me think this romance wasn't very good. Wow. What's this man man eater? That's not by a woman. What who's this? Hmm. Uh this song would have been in a Pixar movie if it'd come out eight years earlier. Oh, I think I'm totally in the wrong era on this. I think what happened is I flashed back to 1982 with Duran Duran, and now I'm still thinking in the 70s and 80s, and I'm like on Pat Benatar's. Yeah. Yeah, I should have told you this was a famous 2009 song. Okay, so 2009. uh, Orient you better. I'll give you one guess since I didn't give you anything to really orient you uh, time-wise. Except for a Pixar song. So what Pixar movies came out in 2001? If the song came out in 2009 and eight years earlier, it would have been a good thing. Like, Monsters, Inc. probably is what you're going for. Maybe. That seems Halloween-ish. Um, he Ate My Heart. The pop song. This is one that's going to get me. This is when you're going to click it, and I'm going to know it, and I'm going to be upset that I missed it on all these clues. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Here we go. The song is Monster by Lady Gaga. Oh, Lady Gaga. Now, I'm not necessarily... I don't think I would have guessed it. I don't think I know it, really. <laughs> I know a little bit of Lady Gaga. I've got Born This Way on the yeah, ranking spreadsheet. Lady Gaga's not one that you've listened to much of. Not much, but, uh, but like a little bit. That's one called Monster. But Monster, it it does make sense. And this is really an image... <laughs> This is Monster Zing versions of <laughs> it's you me and, and Spinny Taper sp- as monsters. <laughs> and Spinny is a little monster eating hearts. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, that's that's interesting. You know, I've seen Lady Gaga making a real uh, comeback lately. Uh, yeah. Not because of the Joker she movie. In, she was just in what's maybe the worst movie of the year. That's an to, uncomeback. But I'm seeing online. Yeah, but other stuff that she's done has been big and better than that. Mhm. I like Lady Gaga. She was never. She never had to come back for me. She's always been. Gotta stop that sentence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's always been a, a favorite of mine. Okay, that's interesting. I, you know, I might not have guessed. Yeah, yeah. Big fan of of the Gog. Of, I'm a Gaga. I'm 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 a Gaga. I don't I don't. I don't a know. Gaga I'm guy, maybe. I'm a Gaga guy. There you go. No, good grief. Uh, but Monster is a song by Lady Gaga from her third EP, The Fame Monster, in 2009. Mm. Uh, and it's inspired by her fear of attachment and relationships and stuff like that. Uh, and how being in love with a bad boy all the time, but instead of running away, you keep coming back to that same bad boy, even though he eats your heart. Eats time. your heart. What are you going to do? The song also includes a reference to Gaga's debut single, Just Dance. Uh, oh, was that her debut single? Yeah. Wow. It doesn't um, feel and like then it. The, uh, the bad romance clue uh, in there for not a good, it wasn't a good romance, was a was a bad romance. Yes. Uh, yep. Because yeah. not a good romance and famous. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Famous from, uh, yeah. oh yeah, the fame monster. Uh it was pretty much right there. It was. It was very spelled out clearly, and I could tell that it was clear, and that's why it was so hard. Yep. 
It just eluded me. Well, we're now down in the single digits as we get more and more Halloween-y, maybe. Not even more and more, just <laughs> continuing. Yeah, I mean, I think they've all been pretty good picks so far. I think, I think again, if I'm at a Halloween party, or more accurately, a Mixtober party, right? Uh, that, those are the ones I attend. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't go to Halloween parties. I go on, to Mixtober parties. If any of these songs came on, I'd be like, "Yeah, this fits the vibe." We'll mm-hmm. see how you feel about the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's always a dangerous preface. Here we go with all number right. nine. This song has lyrics by Carolyn Lee and was composed by Cy Coleman. Okay. Hmm. We'll figure this out. We'll get to the bottom of this. This famous movie star crafted this song in the studio three separate times throughout his career. Ooh, who would have recorded a song three times for movies? They weren't all for movies. Okay. This 1957 song bewitched fans and reached number six on the charts and stayed there for 16 weeks. The Cure recorded a version of this song for Tim Burton's Frankenweenie Frank- Unleashed. Frankenweenie. Who knew that would be my undoing, <laughs> not seeing Frankenweenie. 1957 almost makes me think like Elvis. You know I what mean? I mean, a baker helped this artist perform the song his way. Okay. Well, then that sounds more like a Sinatra thing. I don't know any... <laughs> I don't know any good Halloween songs to guess. <laughs> I don't know. What do you got? New York, New York? <laughs> Fly me to the moon? No, what are we doing? Thanks Sinatra song, but we're doing... Witchcraft. Okay. So this one certainly would bring down the vibe of your Mixtober or Halloween party, but thematically it seems relevant. (laughs) Uh, And there I am. Riding a broom. Riding a broom. (laughs) There you go. That's an action shot, actually. That was candid. That was taken in the moment. I was actually doing that. You were actually just jumping with a broom, I'm sure. (laughs) I had to keep doing it uh, because the person drawing this needed it for like a reference. (laughs) Needed the still. Striking the pose. Yeah, sitting for a portrait, but it's a portrait in motion, so you have to keep doing the motion. (laughs) That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Frank Sinatra, witchcraft. I need to listen to more Sinatra. Now, I've only listened to one Sinatra album, and it was... um, and it's a concept record. It's called Watertown, and it's great, but it's certainly not like a traditional Sinatra record. And there's really no hits on it. Prized you haven't done more Frank Sinatra. Honestly. I know. I Again, know. Another big favorite of mine. Well, maybe that opens it for a uh, Connor's pick. <laughs> well, I don't know why Connor would pick it. It's a favorite of mine. I know. Well, I know he likes it too. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, Frank Sinatra recorded Witchcraft three different times in studio settings. The first time was in 1957 for its first release. And it was later uh, released on his compilation album, All the Way. Um, but that one he didn't re-record. It just was re-released. But he did re-record mm. Witchcraft in 1963 for Sinatra's Sinatra. <laughs> and then finally recorded it as a duet with Anita Baker in wow. 1993. That's your three times. Yeah. I don't know many movies that Frank Sinatra's been in either. Uh, he's been in a few. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> other versions of uh this song um was featured in the 1993 movie Hocus Pocus. Um, I don't know if you've seen that. Sure haven't. Um. And again, yeah, uh, The Cure did a version of it for Frankenweenie Unleashed, which was the companion, uh, like album for Frankenweenie. The movie. Frankenweenie, it's a fourteen-track collection of songs inspired by the movie Frankenweenie. Who wasn't inspired by the movie Frankenweenie? I mean, that's what I'm saying. The deeply moving tale of a boy and his dead dog. <laughs> I think I've never seen it. Um. Uh- a portion of Frank Sinatra's rendition is played during the climax of the film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Hmm. I don't know if you've seen that, but that's no, a classic. No, I haven't, but I've heard oh, good things. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, and uh, it was also in the soundtrack for the film uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. 
<laughs> no, I haven't seen that one either. Yeah, I've heard less good things about that one. <laughs> um, and then also on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. No, now that I haven't seen. <laughs> uh, it's been used a lot. Um, Apparently, song. it's just not cross paths and with so me. So while it might bring down the vibe of the party, I think based on these, uh, some of these things I've named here, it definitely fits the Halloween season. Yes, it does. Uh, hi, Aleska. Yeah, we were having some audio issues with the sound, but the art is great. Oh yeah, absolutely all the the art love all the art. It's phenomenal. It's mind boggling. It boggles the mind. Well, it's time for our next song. Next song already? <laughs> song number six, round already? number eight. We're getting closer to the center. <laughs> well, it's song number eight, six. Round number six. No. This is song number... Oh, yeah, you're right. You're counting down, but rounds are going <laughs> up. Whatever. Six and eight. Here we go. This song is out of this world. Okay. Close encounters of the third kind. <laughs> Just taking a guess. The score from the movie. Close encounters of the third kind. Uh, Connor had this dream when he was a teenager. Oh, a dream where your teeth fell out of your head? That's a reference to this week's episode. <laughs> Yeah, I said that episode's not even out. People it, aren't going to get that yet. It's out, yeah. Uh, there's a version of this song that includes an artist that needs to take notes. Well, Kanye did a song called Monster 2, and we talked about it, and Connor hated that. It'd be wild if he picked it for the podcast again. <laughs> the singer said she always knew she wanted to write this futuristic, alienistic song. Is this like Katy Perry, like a UFO? Didn't she do, like an E.T.? Did she do E.T.? This singer's husband will give you his bow. I don't know who's married to Orlando Bloom, but that's what that is. That's her Lord of the Rings thing. <laughs> you nailed it! Yeah! Come on! By Katy Perry. There we go. I Good knew job. it. I thought so. I had no second guesses. <laughs> you definitely had that. Uh, also, I have no idea. Isn't Orlando Bloom married to her or was at one point? Uh, isn't that a thing? I mean, you're asking me like I didn't just say I have no idea who Orlando Bloom is married to. <laughs> Lord of the I don't Rings. Know if they're married or yes. maybe, they're, maybe they're just engaged. I don't know. I thought. I don't know. Katy Perry, kind of, much like Lady Gaga, point. is having a rough go at 2024. I almost feel pity. Like, I almost feel sad for how her latest album release went. Ooh. I could click on this today.com article, Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom's relationship timeline. So, Husband. That they seems got engaged like they're married. In 2019. Yeah. Yeah, they got engaged in 2019, so I assume they're married by now. Uh, yeah, I thought I didn't fact check that before I put that in there. I just assumed I was right. Well, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this is a song of Katy Perry's yeah, that I... Yeah, you nailed it. Good job. It's a song of hers that I forget oh. about, but I also really like. Like, this is a sleeper hit from Katy Perry, I think. It is. It's a good... And again, just the... It's a it's it's a great one to hear come on at a party. Just the, the beat of it. The bump, 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 Yeah. Bum, yeah. And I can't believe there's a, a version featuring <laughs> Mr. Take Notes, Kanye West. Yeah. And I can't believe... That didn't deter you from bringing it all together. It was it was included on the reissue on the reissue of her album the Teenage Dream. Yeah, <laughs> which is why I said Connor had uh, this dream when he was a teenager. It was mm. on the album Teenage Dream. Got it. Um, but I, it was that was confusing. I was like, Teenage Dream. Did you want to be contention. an astronaut or something? <laughs> no, I mean I did wish I could fly my bike uh, like this, like ET. Um, like Elliot. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving, I, I'm, I'm loving this art right here of me riding the bike with the gopher in the basket, like ET. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of this is one of my personal favorite arts from this year's. <laughs> well, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty iconic movie scene. Yeah. Big fan of this one. Um, 
it's an this song is an electronic hip hop ballad apparently is what it's uh labeled as and it draws heavily from dubstep and techno yeah um it uh she actually uh uh katie perry and kanye west himself actually performed on the 10th season of american idol uh the 54th annual grammy awards and at madison square garden together this song wow i didn't realize it was so big yeah it was big i mean i know it was good but 2011 is when this came out yeah it was the album's fourth single That's song number. This is song number eight. Ready for number seven? I guess. Yeah, this is song seven, round seven. We've hit the midpoint. The overlap. Here we go. Okay, I gotta stay in the game. What's the score now? Two to two to four. Five. No, we've just done six oh. songs. This is number oh, seven. Yeah, we, yeah, we've just done six, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was just predicting how this one was going to go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. German pop band No Absolutely Not released this song Well, in that's going to be a lie. That's going to be a lie. <laughs> how could you tell? Is it I... the giant space between not and released? Anyway, they released a CD and a 7-inch <laughs> okay. uh, version of this, of their the album that this song's on. The lyrics of this song will have you rolling. Rolling. Is this um, Dead or Alive? Like a record? What's the... I don't know. You spin me around? Uh, the music video mocks the horror genre, such as using red glitter and confetti instead of blood, and mimics the dancing of Michael Jackson from That Thrillers. song's way older than 2009. I need to know what's a lie. It features a singing decapitated head in the music video. Interesting. Come on, hurry. Uh, Ten yes, seconds left. Get up there. Change the lie. It's it's not a German pop band. It's uh, actually American indie rock band. Yeah, yeah, yes. Ah, oh, that helps a little bit, but I had approximately two seconds after that reveal to make any changes. <laughs> so I don't know what I was supposed uh, to do about that. Yeah, unfortunately, it took. Uh, I almost snuck that one past Spinny Taper. I was, I was hoping it wasn't going to catch that I had a lie in there. I caught that you had a lie instantly. <laughs> He should have listened to me. <laughs> he doesn't have headphones. He can't hear. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the answer to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super popular song. Heads will roll. <laughs> Heads off, will off, roll. Off I see. Head. Yeah. Pretty scary whole song about decapitation that is that is pretty scary i don't actually know this one either you're right you were correct about you your don't prediction. know this song what? i don't th i don't think i do oh man i know That's i might crazy, recognize man. it if i heard the whole thing but that clip wasn't ringing any bells man it's another party anthem i see so. yeah that explains that i don't party <laughs> i do i mean i i exclusively party with twisted sister that's fair. This is a wild image. This is you <laughs> strapped to a guillotine. You mean a guillotine? Yeah. yeah. Heads will roll. This. <laughs> it's a song by American rock, indie uh, rock band Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Uh, it was released as the second single from their third studio album, It's Blitz, in 2009. Yeah. It was cool that they had a CD and a 7-inch. That is pretty uh, cool. Singles were released. Um. A remix by Canadian DJ A Track uh, uh, appeared in the film Project X, mm -hmm. and this remix was actually placed at number one twenty four on Rolling Stone's list of two hundred greatest dance songs. Wow! So yeah, maybe I should have put the. I didn't want to put the remix in here. I wanted to do the original. Of course, you got to stick with the the originals. The remix but can show up in the, a future. It, year. The, the music video for this Shoot. features the band playing in an underground venue when a dancing werewolf, uh, dancing reminiscent to Michael Jackson, um, who actually died four days before the single was released. Oh no! Days after the music video premiered. Wow! Yikes! Uh, he comes out and um yeah the, the, all the things there's a decapitating head that sings they use 
red glitter and confetti instead of blood. Uh, when like all that happens, mm-hmm. or, like when the head's cut off, all that jazz. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you picked the remix as number six. To be honest, so. Well, here we go to number six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Heads will roll. I'm excited to check all these out. I'm going to be so much more Halloween-y yeah. this year. Yeah. Up next, song number six. Well, song number eight. Song number six, round number well, eight. Song number six, song round six, number round eight. eight. Oh, this is the so worst numbering system in the world. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Your time begins now. Ben Midler enchants everyone who hears this song. Great. It's probably from the Star Wars Christmas special again. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know where... <laughs> where are the rest of the clues? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween is a funny uh... word, though. See? Who can blame you? Uh, here we go. Good this grief. This song has had many versions, but this version is altered lyrics that make it more Halloween-y. Okay. All their Halloween. famous versions include Nina Simone, Bonnie Tyler, and Brian Ferry. Oh, we did a whole episode on a Nina Simone. A trio of witches performed this song in the 1993 movie Hocus Pocus. Darn it. I haven't Too seen the 1993 seen movie Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Don't confuse this song with the original version by Screamin' Jay Hawkins. Oh, man. I ought to know it. I really thought that was going to clue you in, even though you hadn't seen the movie. Yeah, I thought it would, too. Didn't get there. I think this is the first time this will be a song that I know well and haven't gotten. (laughs) I like that every time I say Halloween-y, Jenny giggles. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Anyway, uh, do you know the answer? Did you figure it out after the time went out? I didn't figure it out after the time went out. Oh, okay. The answer is, I put a spell on you. I put it because you're mine. We did it. We talked about it on the Nina Simone episode. That's the <laughs> yeah. name of her album. And this is the first one that I have known well and have not guessed. So this is the first point yep. that I've, uh, I feel like I've really this lost This version on. is the Hocus Pocus version. That's got more Halloween-y lyrics. Yeah. I see. Yeah, this is the first one I'm upset about. Yeah, let's go. This was in challenge mode. This wasn't in baby mode. (laughs) Yeah. I think if I would have had more time to think about it with Nina Simone on there, I maybe could have got to put a spell on you. I mean, Nina Simone came up at the right time. (laughs) It was the ones before it that were delayed. I don't think that's true. (laughs) I think that's a spin. Uh, But here we have me and the gopher practicing our magic tricks. Uh... Magicians do spells. I, <laughs> Wizard. Magic. I guess, I yeah. A good magic pulling a gopher out of really a hat. I really wanted this image. <laughs> of course, this is a useful one. <laughs> uh, you ready for song number five? Song number five. We're getting to our top five here. Yeah. Not, that's uh, Top five in terms of uh, this, this another 13. Not like top five is in there, my favorite five. Right, just the uh, final five in another the final series five. of 13. We'll have a 26 song Halloween repertoire after this. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Here we go. This animated special theme was released in 1966. Okay, we're maybe getting back onto more Scooby-Doo if you've repeated anything. The recording session took place at the Sulu's Gower Street Studio in Hollywood on October 4th, 1966. Ah, yes, the clue that unlocks the mystery. I know everything about the Sulu's Gower American Street Jazz Studio. This Vince Guaraldi. This is the Great Pumpkin. Disney. This is from the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It, I don't know if it's it's not Linus and Lucy. I mean, that's not Halloweeny. Is there a Halloweeny or song? For the third in a series of forty-five specials. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like Linus and Lucy. What are, is there a Great Pumpkin theme song in it? This is from Charlie Brown and the Great this Pumpkin. This song comes from the Halloween special featuring the infamous dogfight with the Red Baron. Oh, what's that spinny taper? Uh, 
So he, oh, I mixed what? up my clue cards. This is about a song this later is, in the list. This is everything is wrong. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. Everything is wrong. I can't oh, guess no. if you just told me everything about a different song. <laughs> this. Uh, I hope you can remember all this information when it when it comes up later. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to catch where the where the cards got got mixed up. You just told uh, me all the wrong facts. So so. <laughs> Something from It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown is coming up later. But this isn't that. And now do I just lose no, this a point? Is Matt. This is Spooky Scary Skeleton. Spooky Scary. Do I not get a point for that? <laughs> uh, well, you will. If, so what's going to happen? According, I'm, I'm checking with Spinny Taper here. It seems like my Spooky Scary Skeletons factoid card and my... Great pumpkin theme uh, factoid card got in the wrong order, so you're gonna see spooky, scary skeleton. Uh, I have information to... show up later in the game. Okay, and you're gonna have to remember what's supposed to go there. So, <laughs> so I'll get the point if I could correctly identify the spooky, scary skeletons facts. Correct. You'll get two points that round if you can identify <laughs> and uh, do it that way. You'll this get is this ridiculous. Point the okay. <laughs> I had to I, I listen, I knew you were gonna come knowing expecting me to have some falsities in there. So yeah. I had to I had to I had to level well, up. It really uh, confused me when he started entire... coming up because I was like, this all seems legit. Like I can't think of anything meaningful that would be changed about the great <laughs> and pumpkin. I purposely did it on the one that I knew. It was the only one of the thirteen I could guarantee you were gonna get. And I was like, so I'm gonna mess with them all. <laughs> That's sad. That's a really uh, devious. I, that's a wait, low blow, even for you. Skeleton. Me running away from some spooky, scary skeletons. Oh yeah, this is a great piece of art. I love it so much. They're crawling right out of the grave to sh to send shivers yeah. down your spine. Yep. But let's move on to number four. <laughs> Already so soon. There's only four. <laughs> I, it's got to be soon. Oh. Uh. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll find out. This song was originally released by the band Zodiac Mind Warp and The Love Reaction. Oh, okay. I feel like that might not be... I don't know if we're going to get more spins. I don't know what to believe but anymore. But a famous singer covered it on his 19th, 19th studio album. And that's the version we're talking studio about. album. That's got to be someone like a, like a Tony Bennett, like a... Who the did a song lot. is featured in the movie Wayne's World, Wayne's where the singer himself performs it. Okay, what's in Wayne's World? Bohemian Rhapsody's in, Wayne, in Wayne's World. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen Wayne's World. Uh -oh. This song features guests such as Joe Satriani and Nikki Six. Okay, Nikki Six from the Motley Crew. I oh, don't forget to feed your undead monsters before going trick or treating this year. I don't have it. He doesn't have it. The answer for I, I, song number I know uh, Wayne's song World. Four. I know Wayne's World. Feed my Frankenstein. Feed my Frankenstein. By Alice Cooper. Oh, Alice Cooper. He's in. Yeah, he's absolutely in Wayne's World, and he talks uh, about huh? the Mohicans. I remember that. That's very. That's a very good one. Great song, too. I don't know the song. I mean, I've seen it in Wayne's World, apparently, but I don't know the song. So, unfortunately. Good song. That's going to be another I, again, point for you. Again, I don't you. know what your familiarity with Alice Cooper is, but I was I was curious. Yeah. I need again, another one I need to listen to more. I, I've got none on the ranking list but, yet. Uh, uh, as the factoid said, Feed My Frankenstein is a song originally written and re uh, released by British hard rock band Zodiac, Mind Warp, and The Love Reaction for their album, Hoodlum Thunder, but Alice Cooper covered it on his 19th solo studio album, Hey Stupid, <laughs> and released it as a single in May of 1992. I didn't realize Alice Cooper had such a large discography. Apparently so. And Alice Cooper's version is the highest charting version, uh, making it to number 27 in the UK. Um, and yeah, it was in the 1992 film Wayne's World. And there's a big like meme gif for, uh, of Alice Cooper from Wayne's World that's like 
used mm. a lot. But uh, it features Alice Cooper on vocals, Mickey Curry on drums, Robert Bailey on keyboards, Joe Satriani on guitar, Steve Vay on guitar, and Nikki Six on bass. Quite a lineup. Indeed. And I really like this one. Um, again, uh, it's it, a little, uh, this 13 needed a little hard rock. Yeah, you know? it did. Yeah, keep the vibes up. But with that, uh, time to go on to our final, you know, our, our, our final three. Final three songs. Wow. Here we go. I suppose we do. It's time for another ballad. Well, that's not spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's another lie. <laughs> What's a good Halloween uh, ballad? It is driven by piano and rock instrumentations, such as electric guitar, synthesizers, and programmed drums. Okay. Okay. Meatloaf, bat out of hell. Who is he? <laughs> Uh, this 2023 pop song has reached oh. top 10 in Australia, Ireland, Canada, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, the UK, Austria, Germany, Greece, Iceland, Latvia, Luxembourg, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Norway, the Philippines, Singapore, Vietnam, and even the US. Okay, so if we're talking 2023 pop songs, I'm thinking Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. This artist's 2024 Grammy Come performance on. was messy. Come on, because she smashed all the blood everywhere, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Olivia Rodrigo. This is Vampire. Oh, no. We're almost out of time. That sucks. That sucks. Come on. Give me points. And the answer? Spooky scary. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the that'd answer, be awful. Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. Wow. I'm surprised you know this. I mean, we did an episode on Guts. Ages. No. We did an episode on Sour ages ago, and, and we yeah. didn't touch Guts. I wasn't sure if you dived into Guts any. Well, uh, it's kind of hard to avoid this song. I mean, one, it's I true. saw the performance at the Grammy. That's but, also true. Uh, it's also just hard to avoid this song. I mean, it was everywhere. It was very present, yeah. Um, But yeah, Olivia Rodrigo released this in 2023, and it's honestly, it's a pretty good ballad. Yeah. You know, Olivia Rodrigo... Not my favorite artist out there, but no, you gave her like a a five. <laughs> I don't I remember, remember what you gave her. It wasn't Connor. Sorry, Connor gave her something. Let's see. I think a seven. Seven. Oh, no, actually, it either, yeah. she's at the top of Connor's sevens. Yeah. Surprising. She does not rank that high for me necessarily. Sour did. <laughs> I, I think Sour was better I than Guts. That might be a hot take, but I thought Sour was a better record. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But, you know, every every good playlist needs a ballad or two. Um, yeah. And so I thought this would be a good one. Uh-huh. I think if I win out, I can catch you. But I think those yeah, are my... <laughs> well, right now it's three to seven with a point on spooky, scary skeletons in the lurch. So uh, yeah, I can uh, pick up three more points. Two points. Yeah, yeah. And so that means I I guess you I'm win. win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoops. Well, uh, we might make the we might make the last one worth two if okay. you can win out uh that far. Okay. We'll see. I have that's we a have long shot so far. Here we go, number 2. Number 2, song this 12. This Halloween song was released in 1996. Okay, I don't trust it. This could be spooky scary skeletons. Unless you put that at number one. Uh, this song has had several resurgences since 2010, including a dubstep remix. That does sound like it could be spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, Some call it the Internet's Halloween anthem. Yeah, this is the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> the song was even adapted into a children's book in August of this year. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Disney included this song on their VHS tape. Disney sing-along songs, Happy Haunting, yep. Party at Disneyland, and paired it with a now-famous 1929 animated short. Yep. And a little mixtape or PSA. If you get shivers down your spine, it may be due to skeletons 
is in the whole wrong thing. Vicinity. Yes, I just want to say that I. This <laughs> was indeed the factoid card that got mixed up with the Great Pumpkin Waltz. Yeah. There's me and Gopher picking out our pumpkins. Of course, he had to get the biggest one. Of course, the Great Pumpkin. What a great holiday Halloween special. All the Charlie Brown that's ones great. are, are I, pretty strong. I but... think that that's number three out of what is now currently 45 yeah. uh, Peanuts specials. <laughs> I can't believe how many like, of those I haven't seen. I know. Well, that was crazy, too. When I was putting together that factory card, I was just like, how many have there been? And I looked at it and said 45. I was like, whoa. 45 Peanuts specials. I've seen probably those three of them. 45 I think, times. I've seen, I, I think I've like, seen, like... I, I'm probably close to double digits. I've seen... I'm close to double digits, too. Because we had, like, a DVD that bundled together, like, the Pilgrims mm, yeah, we did, and we Thanksgiving. Had a DVD that had, like, and, like, Election them. Day. And, and another, like, yeah, there were weird uh, ones. Presidents. Yeah. I don't know. But, boy. Peanuts. I actually... I have peanuts. a giant book full of... Like peanuts comic strips, I think it's almost all of this them. This song, this song was actually the one of the biggest ones that I didn't include last year that I was bummed I didn't have room for. Really, I don't think you've ever once mentioned this song to me in your life. <laughs> oh, why would I? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just coming. seems like if it was that I much just, of a priority. When you're thinking of you. like Halloween songs, and you're thinking of songs that are actual songs like for Halloween, not just like vampire that fits the mood but true. isn't really a halloween song like this is one of the ones that comes up yeah that's in true my brain immediately but now uh that makes the score five seven yeah it's five to seven and if, if this is a two-pointer for me uh, we'll it should only be a one-pointer for you pointer. well yeah we'll make it a two-pointer <laughs> for you uh a one pointer for me. Okay, good, good. To give you an opportunity to tie it up. Good. We can end Halloween fifty fifty. In the spirit of Nixtober. Let's see what the number one song on this year's mixtape thirteen is gonna be. But not really number one. Just the, the last one. Uh, hello, James. I just needed to waste some time. I didn't have enough. Are time. you not gonna give me clues? You're not gonna give me. <laughs> you're not gonna give me clues. Composer <laughs> Charlie Clauser wrote this horror song. I thought about not giving you any clues. <laughs> that would have been so. No, what a bummer. That. I just didn't have enough information to fill up the full sixty. Uh, it's written in the key of D minor. Okay. That doesn't really clear much up for me. A lot of songs are written in the key of D minor. Whenever the song is remixed, a key piece of the song name is changed. That's a fun little fact. Is this like? Well, that means it's like a symphony kind of thing. I don't know. Where the D minor is like a part of it. Because a key mm, piece has changed, like the key changes. Uh, there we go. Well, it seems like we've come to the end of our game. Um, it, sorry. it seems that way. I hope you saw the is clues. Is this the Saw right theme song? In front of you. This is the Saw theme song, isn't it? <laughs> this is the Saw theme song. Yeah. So I with, Hello, James. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's making sense now. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and I want you to pay attention to the soundbite for this one because I made it a little special. Game over. <laughs> I gave it a little game over. Yeah, that's very nice. Like they do at the end of at every the end of Saw. Saw game. Where he slams the the door and shut. It number one, so it's the end of our game. Wow, yeah, it is. Game over. Saw, what a great it's theme song. Over. I don't do typically like a ton of horror movies, but I really, really enjoyed the Saw franchise. I mean, I watched it with Connor. Great. I know a lot of people think they're too gory, but I understand that. That's a really valid know. criticism. Um, but I like the thriller aspect of it. I like trying to solve the mm -hmm. puzzles that they mm -hmm. hide. Like, there's so many clues hidden throughout the storytelling mm -hmm. that are really but yeah, intricate. The, it's the Saw theme song. It's officially titled Hello Zep because that's when it's first used in the first movie. Is Never when it's revealed that Zep was actually also a vil villain. Uh, mm. Spoilers for the first song. Oh, it, wasn't, or it was also a victim, not a villain, mm -hmm. uh, when his tape recorder is played. 
And then every time great? it's used in the subsequent movies, they change the name. Really? So to hello? hello? Whoever. Wow. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. So there's a bunch of different versions of it that are, because uh, it's one big, like you said, orchestra like piece, right? And they use different mm-hmm. pieces of it throughout the different songs. And every single time they change the name to whoever it's being played for. Yeah. The transition for this slide was really good, too. Just all the squares. Thank you. <laughs> that was really yeah. excellent. Yeah. I have yeah, to notice that we didn't see the paper people. crane. And there I am with the little puppet. The what? jigsaw spirals. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Wow, that's a really good 13. And we tied 7-7, seven to seven, meaning we, we got 14 seven points. Seven. <laughs> I mean, technically you didn't name it Hello Zep, so I could take the point. But I don't. I, won't. I mean, uh. <laughs> I mean, okay. You could yeah. have taken a so, few technicality um, points. I mean, in that this. brings us to the end of the game. So I think we need to review uh, the mixtapers next top thirteen Halloween songs playlist. Next top thirteen, uh, another top thirteen. Run us through it one more time. I, another didn't fit in one line. Uh, I had to use next. I was out of characters. It, this is synonymous. <laughs> uh, and here they all are with all their wonderful art. Yeah. Uh, thank you again, art department. You knock it out of the part every year. Absolutely. Uh, These are great. I like them as much as last year's. Haunted House by Ray Stevens. We've mm-hmm. got The Ballad of the Witch's Road from Agatha All Along. I'm playing on Disney Plus right now. Not a sponsor. No, not at all. Uh, we've got, but could be, Disney Plus, reach out. Uh, <laughs> Disney, if you're listening. We- <laughs> the Mouse at the Mouse if you're out there. <laughs> uh, we've got Hungry Like. The Wolf by Duran Duran. Yeah. We've got Monster by Lady Gaga. We've got Witchcraft by Frank Sinatra. E.T. by Katy Perry. Uh, Heads Will Roll by Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I put a spell on you, specifically the version from Hocus Pocus. But not Nina Simone. Uh, spooky, scary skeletons. Shivers. Um, Feed My Frankenstein mm-hmm. by Alice Cooper. Vampire by uh, Olivia Rodrigo. The Great Pumpkin Waltz from the Charlie Brown Great Pumpkin special and the Saw theme. That's a really good 13. I wonder which 13 I like better now that we've got both of these set up. Well, those of you listening to the episode or watching the VOD of the stream, go listen to both playlists. Uh, They'll be up. uh, We make playlists out of it and Mm -hmm. uh, you can let us know. Which on Spotify and YouTube. Set of 13 you think is better. It'll be on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, and you can let us know on social media uh, on Instagram at spin it pod. Nope. Official. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> at spin it pod official and on X at spin it pod. Yep. Um, you can reach out to us via email. And James is going to tell you what that is. Well, you can find <laughs> you can find all of our stuff on the contact us tab on our website, which is oh, www. www.spinitpod.com. That's right. That is correct. But you can also email podcast at spinitpod.com. That works too. Yeah. Uh, and that's a good email to use if you want to. Uh... Is that a good email to use? Is that the best email to use if they want to? Email me facts and spin. No, that's mixtaper at spinitpod.com. Oh. Wait, listen, the emails are relatively new. I haven't memorized them yet. No, but it's just it's just mixtaper at spinitpod.com. It could not be easier for you. (laughs) Mixtaper at spinitpod.com. Email me facts or spins that I can use to mess with James in future episodes. It's I will be messed with. We've already recorded some future episodes, and I assure you, I get messed with. But uh, now I'd like the people in the chat to just go ahead and vote for which piece of art is their favorite I of the 13. There are some really good art pieces here. I'm partial to the guillotine because it was so strikingly unexpected. The Monsters, Inc. one is also just like what a wild reimagining. <laughs> yeah. The Witch's Road one yeah. is very cute. And very fun. 
I think the Witch's Road is very cute. Yeah, I the... think Witch's Road and E.T. are my favorite too. Well, the E.T. one uh... is like great because it parodies a classic movie scene, but it's you're small and silhouetted. I like the details yeah, on some true. of these other ones. True. I think we'll get some mileage though uh, out of. Should the we wrap up the episode? The is hat. there anything else we need to do to wrap up the episode? We can hang out with Chad a little longer and just talk about the thirteen. But is there anything else that episode wise we need to talk about or do? What is I your think... favorite? Uh, I guess you haven't heard half the songs yet, but I'm curious to I find haven't. out which song you like best out of this thirteen, and which set of thirteen you end up liking best. Yeah, I think out of That's this list, I think, I think the first set of thirteen had more iconic halloween style songs yeah it did them. um but i th- really like the vibe of this set of 13 i do too together as a group yeah it's a good one i think obviously my favorite pick from this list is probably hungry like the wolf that's just a good one but it's, it's i think one. the like sleeper surprise pick for me on this list is probably et it's not one I would have thought of, and you said it, and I was like, that's it. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Mm-hmm, but I'm they're all pretty it. solid. But yeah, we will be back next week, wherever you listen to podcasts, for another episode of the podcast, and we'll be out of Mixtober. We'll be into November. Yeah, Connor will be back from ConCon. He will. Back from Peru? Wherever he's at. That's what he said. Yeah, well, great. Usually he tells people to tell a friend about the podcast if uh, they meet a certain oh, condition. Oh, I don't know if you want to do on, that. Let me, uh, 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 um... Um... It's the intro all over again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, oh, okay, uh... Uh, ooh, tell a friend who sends shivers down your spine. Oh, that could be cute or really negative. Yeah. It could be uh, someone. Yeah, Jenny Connors in Peru. Someone who Con gives Con. you chills every October. Or someone you're afraid of. Yeah. Tell them about the podcast. Tell them about the stream. Tell them about the VOD that they can go listen to. And definitely come follow us on Twitch so that we can get to affiliate and have fun new toys. That's right. Twitch.tv slash SpinitPod. Some of this art could make great uh, great emotes, uh, like the running mixtaper. Yeah. Emotes. Yeah, yeah. Like They could make good emotes uh, for future streams if we can get there. I'd agree with that. But we'll see. Tune in next week, and until then, as always, keep spinning. Keep spinning! Marvelous. Every time I always want to go, yeah, because that's normally what I do, but that's... That's true, but that's not what you do at the end of an episode. You could say it now, though, in the oh. post-episode banter, I guess. Oh, oh, is that how we'll, like, fade out? I mean, I suppose if you want to. Fade out the episode, yeah. Yeah! And then I'll just be here alone, and uh, I don't know how to banter with myself, so I'm just going to end it. Okay. No, should I hit stop on the recording? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll leave Craig running, but I'll hit stop on the recording. Oh, I didn't even save the project yet. Oop, that's good. Good to know. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, there we have it. Uh, the stream chat. Yeah, this Where's concludes going? the stream part where it's an actual episode. How about that? Yeah, now... It, uh... Jenny... Which art do you think is best on here? Which one's your favorite? I like it all. I, I think the art is incredible. I do too. So much fun. It's a lot of fun. Again, uh, I, uh, I had a busy Mixtober, and so I got the song selections to the art department very late. And they knocked this out of the park. And I, uh, oh, bye forever. Bye forever. Oh, bye forever. Oh, bye. Uh, but they did great. Yeah. What time even is it? Oh, man, it's already 9.24. I know. That was a good recording, though. I told you the live ones are usually quick. And even with all those sound issues, I feel like 
feel like that one was a well, speedy I mean, one. Especially something like this where uh, uh, there's not the entire... <laughs> normally there's three segments to our podcast. Right. right? There's the about the artist slash album, Factor Spin, and then the actual analysis of the songs. Yeah, which is great. Uh, and we basically just had that last third. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, which is fine no, because... we're not quite yet, but this we episode... will be soon. I asked you, Ginny, which art you thought was the best, and you ignored me. See, I um, I think that's good for this kind of episode, though, because it is one we have to turn around really quickly. I have to edit this mm-hmm. one. It comes out, like, not Thursday, but a week from Thursday. So the edit has to be yeah. quick. Yeah. And um, and it's a Halloween special. So it's kind of got a limited lifespan as an episode. Like, it's exactly. seasonal. So, you know, we want to get yeah. people... I don't know. I'll, you know, I'll... I... I can't hear you. <laughs> Wait, oh. Then how did you know I said something? Hmm. I don't Along who knows. with the moon. You also like the E.T. one. Oh, see? wow. Big favorite. Mm-hmm. That's a good... Well, but the moon... He's singing with the moon, too. Oh, that's true. The witch or, road. Frankenstein's behind the moon. Frankenstein's in front of the moon, actually. Behind the moon would be... It'd just the, look like a picture of the moon. Singing <laughs> makes a great emote. Uh... Running mixtaper makes a good emote. I think the uh, broom mixtaper also could be a fun one. But that's too yeah. that's too niche. That's too seasonal. It's too niche. But the other two work. Yeah, running mixtaper works every time. Number eight. Oh, okay, Number et. Eight. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's running mixtaper. Uh, the mad the number six the uh, the the magician one. And probably wouldn't make an emote, but I, I see fun things to do with that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of potential. That was fun. You got really tricky on some of those lies, though. Only the only the one with the factoid card swap. Yeah, that was pretty tricky, the though. We're pretty similar to last year. Mix up the genre, mix up when it came out. Mm. Except the band name. Yep, it is supposed to be E.T. And that's very understandable. Because some parts of that movie are kind of freaky. It is kind of freaky. I haven't seen E.T. in a long time. I need to go listen to most of these songs, though. (laughs) I'm excited for you to listen to them. It's the year of discovery. Really. The year of discovery. Out of these 13, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six will be pretty new to me. So, that's nice. (laughs) No, you're not. It's fine. It's fine. (laughs) You should be proud of me. I only went through one Mountain Dew this stream. Yeah, I'm really glad you're going to be awake. Does caffeine keep you awake? No. I could... Chug a Mountain Dew and go right to sleep. I see. That's good to know. It will wake me up, though. Like, if I'm, like, tired, I can drink caffeine and it'll give me an energy boost. Yeah, but then you still sleep. If I have energy and I just drink it, then I can still just go to sleep. I guess I am going to say goodbye to Craig. I think we're covered. (laughs) There. Anyway. That's interesting. I'm already worried about this tiny little pumpkin spice latte doing the trick for me. <laughs> we can stay up all night and play Valheim. Let's <laughs> flip over to a different stream. Here we go. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Connor probably would have a bad connection from Peru anyways. Yeah, I don't think he I don't even think he's got a computer with him in Peru that works no, for does. Oh really? That works for Valheim? Yeah, it would work. Interesting. Who knew? I love my little... Yeah, show him off. Yeah, I don't know if I've shown him off on a stream before or not. You have not. uh, We haven't streamed since March Madness. Crocheted (laughs) Finny. The eyes look so big. (laughs) He's a big boy. He is, he is. Got the little record on the back. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty great. And then, yeah, the spinny taper him, put put my hat on him. Yeah, because you ran out of masks. It is impressive that you kept your mask on the right way this time. Last year, 
You had it backwards yeah, for half the yeah, stream, and for the first 40 rough. minutes, you went, I can't see. I got to look at this to see my keyboard. I can't. Where is everything? That was made by a fan. <laughs> it's Chuck him back for me. He's, he's going to sleep now. He's <laughs> taking a nap. <laughs> he's in the he's run out groove. Nap. He's, t- he's tuckered out from trying to oh, keep trying me to honest. Correct your lies. Yeah. I love him too, Jenny. He's oh, isn't great. he good? He's uh, pretty good. Uh, well. I can put the stupid squirrel mask on again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually kind of despise I this. It. I don't wear a lot of giant rubber what, what masks. Why do you despise it? It's, it's a great just, gift. What are you it's talking just about? It's so like strange. Let's be honest. How much? How many times has that abacus come in handy to do some quick math? I don't know how to use an abacus. None. None. <laughs> no times. It's impressive though. There really is like a system to it. There's people can compute. Like complex things with abacus, abacai, and I don't know how. Abacai, abacai. Yeah. Whew. Well, anyway, I suppose we should wrap it on up. I clicked away for two seconds. I know it's <laughs> terrifying, isn't it, Jenny? Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, wow. Well, we will see you next now that time. I have a larger three D printer. I could print. Like a yeah. full uh, yeah, I know. lampshade sized version of the moon. I'm a squirrel. To, like put like in like my living room. The moon the moon lamp is great. I have it. It's off the frame yeah. now because I'm saying, imagine a moon lamp, but it's like just the moon and it's up in your ceiling. You have like a like your ceiling light is a moon. I know a with ceiling a moon. changing bulb in it. I I uh, I had to show it off because it was the gift from last Mixtober. Now I wanted well he had to be in costume. That's right. It's Honestly, rule. it's a good thing he put it on because I had already decided if he didn't wear it, that meant he needed a new costume, and I was going to send him one. Uh, and it was going to be a lot worse <laughs> than what he currently has. <laughs> yeah, well, then I'm glad I did it. Good grief. Uh, well. Well, I think, huh. it's, uh, I think it's time to... Hit that ending screen and end it. Off with the stream. Off with the stream. The guillotine picture is really something. Yeah, we will do that. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Everywhere you get your podcasts, spin it, podcast, all the stuff. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks a lot for hanging out. It's been a blast. It's been another good mixed over. <laughs>